Hey everyone, it's Chris. I will build a whole kingdom with randomized block palette. I am building for more than 8 years now and I am also a builder for Razzleberry's studio on Bedrock Marketplace. And I would like to show you my way and how to build amazing buildings in few simple steps. So stay with me because this is going to be amazing. And today I am going to show you how to use Word Painter, how I usually use Word Painter, to make custom maps that will look amazing. So if you want to follow this exciting challenge, then please subscribe and support me with a like. Okay, so we have to start off with creating a new word. You can do that by clicking on File, New Word. You can name it whatever you want to. I'm gonna name it Chris's Cozy Word. You can also set the map format. I'm going to use Minecraft 1.19 or later. You can change the dimension. I'm just gonna set it to 1500 here you can left it hilly I'm usually unpicking the beaches so it will remove the gravel and the sand shores and here comes the trick you can change the level and the water level and what I want to do is have the water level above the ground so what we can do now is for example just lower this level and as you can see the water is getting more visible I will adjust the water level to be bigger but for sure it applies when you would like to make an island okay surface is simple minecraft seed can be ocean and there you have your map and what you should do now is just make the island itself i have custom brushes if you're interested then i can show you how to apply custom brushes so i'm just gonna choose a random brush and i will choose this hey tool which is useful to raise or lower the terrain you can raise it with the left click and you can lower it with your right key all right you can adjust the size with your scrolling wheel and i'm just gonna randomly raise the surface at this point i usually just zoom in and see what is the lowest point which is not water as you can see in the left bottom corner it says hey 72 of 319 and i don't want the island to be too high from the water level and the way you can stop that from going above the desired height is just grabbing this brush settings and you can set it at or below and i will set it to 77 and now it will not go above 77 block height okay i'm just playing around you can also increase the intensity so it will be faster and I am just trying to give it a natural shape I would like to do a small bay area and another thing that you can do is just select this flatten tool and you can flat out the edges more all right so now we can add the mountains I really love mountains I really love hills because they are so amazing to build on so i will choose another brush from here i will untick the at or below and just make some random mountains you can also check the height of the mountains with hovering over it and you can see that it's 98 blocks and i also prefer to use the flatten tool here as well because sometimes you just have to have flat surfaces so you can build the houses on it you can check your island in 3d with selecting view show 3d view and you can see that the island is looking like this at the moment the hills are not so high so i'm going to add more height to them i will choose another brush just to have more variety and as you can see it looks more promising it's like real terrain right i would like to add some more details to the meeting point of the water and the land i think it looks more natural okay so now we can get to texturing the first thing that i like to do is just make the seashores out of sand so basically it will be more realistic you can zoom in and check these layers it says it's 72 so we can probably go one block above to 73 so we can work from 73 to 71 and that means that we want it to be at or above 71 and at or below 73 okay and now with the pencil tool and the sand selected we can do our shores if you click on the layers then you can remove the water and as you can see under the water it is grass and we don't want grass under the water right so what we can do here is just say edit global operations fill with terrain type and i'm going to create a custom terrain for it you have to click on terrain this plus sign create custom material you can click on complex and here you just have to click on the dirt you can just change it to anything you want to i am changing it to coarse dirt i am adding another material i will change it to sand and i will add gravel so it will have a more natural texture and i'm just gonna click ok and now we can go to the global operations again edit global operations 
filled with terrain type and if I scroll down all the way to the bottom then I can see my custom terrain and I will tick in the at or below and I will type here 70 and if I click go then as you can see it changed the grass to my custom terrain I'm going to change it to bigger blobs it's like a camouflage all right now we can put back the water and we can texture our hills and mountains so I will create another custom terrain I will do complex again and I will choose anthracite I will add stone I will add tough and it's done so now I'm going to use the global operations again I'm gonna say fill with terrain type scroll down and design stone tough and now we can tick in the above i'm going to apply this terrain to every surface which is above 45 degrees okay so it applied the terrain let's see in the 3d view yep it has this nice texture but now we are going to add a twist i'm doing another custom material i will add calcite add diorite i click ok and i will apply this to every surface which is above 55 degrees let's see yep it added this texture as well so let's see the 3d view okay so it's more natural now and after some changes it looks like this okay now we can get to the nature i'm going to change the biome and i will use the global operations again i am going to say fill with biome i will select forest and i am going to tick in that at or above 73 and I am just going to do it again because this is a game changer if you would like to make a custom map is that I'm going to fill with biome and I will go to deep lukewarm motion at or below 72 and this will make the ocean look pretty bright and this lukewarm motion looks just amazing and I will show you why but now we have to add some trees you have to select layers and click on the plus add a custom object layer and with that button you can add schematics so for example buildings trees bushes anything you want to so by clicking on that button you can choose the folder that you have your schematics in i am using mr wiz's schematic pack which i will put down in the description so you can use the same trees okay and this program is really good because you can see the trees in 3d and i'm going to use oak trees you can click on open and there you have them in this list so you can change the pattern because it is a bit crowded so my usual go-to number is 150 so it is a bit airy and trust me it's going to work well you can click on ok and now you can select the areas where you want the trees but first you have to do some preparations i'm going to tick in at or above 74 because i don't want trees in the water i don't want trees in the sand shores and i'm going to tick in that below 30 degrees because i don't want trees on the steep mountain size either and now we can select the area so after i selected the area i usually erase from the selections because i don't want to have forests everywhere since i will need villages and cities and the last thing that i would like to add to this map is a river so i'm just gonna choose this tool again which can help me lower the surface i will choose a brush i will check what is the level of this area in the water it's 68 and i am going to go for at or above 68 and now we just have to right click all the way and i think we are done let's see the 3d view okay so the final step is exporting the map you have to click file export and export as a new minecraft map you have to untick the include chest of goodies you have to select creative you have to select peaceful and you also have to click surface because word painter usually generates little lava and the water holes in the ground which will make your fps hit the ground so you have to get rid of those so what i'm usually doing here is just setting everything to zero untick the caves break the surface and untick the decorate okay you can also manipulate the resources i'm just gonna untick resources everywhere and in general you can choose the underground material i usually choose my gray color terrain and for border since it's an island i will choose water i will tick in endless and we are done we can click export and look at this i think it looks amazing the mountains as well i'm just going to attach a rendered photo of the whole world so you can see it in one piece thank you all so much for checking my video please write down your ideas in the comments what should i build in the first episode of building the kingdom and have a great day bye bye